Hey there, I'm Lee from PlayGuitarAcademy.com. I help frustrated guitar players get back to getting better at the guitar. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to play two licks that were inspired from two of David Gilmour's most popular solos. So now that we've taken a look at the choices that Dave makes for, for these uh, to get his style of music, and then also the gear that he uses to, to make this happen, what, we, what I thought I'd do is I would go and listen to some of the clips that we talked about over the weekend and listen to some of his solos and then make a couple licks in that style something that we could try out and we could see what scales that he's, that he's using for that and also some of the bends and and the different things that he uses to get that atmospheric sound so i'm going to go ahead and come over here to the first one so i call this gilmore one okay and this was um, this is one of the edge of breakup clean lead sounds. And I listened to that first clip coming back to life that Evan had um, suggested and came up with this. Okay, so the, the um, I'm going to play a little C bed underneath that right there. So let me. Um, So what key are we in here? We're in the key of C. And this is basically over the C major pentatonic. I've got my edge of breakup fender. I've got uh, delay. And we're going to start off on the eighth fret with the pinky on the B string. And I'm using my, on my uh, picking hand, I'm using my uh, middle finger to play the B and then the pick to, to play the G string. So I'm basically making a sequence of fourths, which came out in actually in one of the lessons this week is why I was thinking about that, but I thought it sounded nice in this. And a very slow bend from seven. And then I follow that with an actual slide into nine. And that lasts for that that nine when I'm slid up to that lasts for a whole measure, and then we have a eighth note rest, and then eighth notes, that's what I did. So we're gonna have um, fifth fret on a G, eighth fret on the B, fifth fret on G, so go just back and forth with that. A slide to 10 on the high E string, and then a bend at 10, and following up, up to 12. So we're following the bent note, the note that it goes, bends up into, and then playing the note with vibrato that we, that we bent up to, to, to make sound like that right afterwards which is a technique that uses so i'm going to try that again One more time. 
I play with the with the rhythms a little bit. Hey, how about that? Can you hear that? I know I, I know you can. We'll give it a second to go past. Okay, so I, I kind of play with the rhythms. I didn't play play exactly as I had written the rhythm, rhythms out the first time. Um, but okay, so let's move on to the next one. I've got another solo here. And this one is more this one I did after listening to let me go back to what the other clip was I listened to. This was after listening to the solo for Hey You. And Hey You's not slow and everything like that, but it has it really kicked in E minor rocked up solo. So this is going to be different. I'm going to use more of a saturated Marshall. Let's see. What so we're in, at this point, we're not in major pentatonic anymore. We're in minor pentatonic, but we're adding in notes from the full minor scale. Actually listening to the Six, the minor a minor sixth interval, which is very Gilmore sounding, and then a band a slow band on the B string on the fifteenth fret, and following that up with the note you were bending up to, and vibrato. With, and with, <clears throat> with hammer on and pull off. And then a climb up high. So let's see here. The, the last two measures, we have 14, 15, 17, 15, 17, 19. Those are all eighth notes. One and two and... So, two, three, four, two, three, four, four. Not the same thing. Just inspired by him right there. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do a little E minor uh, loop there for that. Okay, let's try this with a little back. So it doesn't sound exactly in his style because the background wasn't going through chords. I just stayed on one single E minor chord. Um, but you get the idea. We have the long vibratos. We have the long bends. We're, we're basically staying in the pentatonic, but we're adding notes from the full minor scale there to get some really, I think, some really convincing Gilmore style licks right there. Okay. So th those are the ones I prepared for you. You can go over to PlayGuitarAcademy.com and I'll have right up at the top of the page, I will have um, a links where you can download these licks right here. You can also check out the show notes page and the description below this video. Thanks so much for watching my video today. Uh, I just wanna make sure that you head on over to FreeBluesLesson.com and sign up for my free six part video course. It's called Get Your Blues Solos Under Control. I'm so thankful for you watching my videos today and also subscribing to the channel. Make sure you check out the other videos in the series and I'll see you real soon.